previously. Oh god, I got so far though. <laughs> and so we go. Hello friends, my name is Nernite, and welcome back to Slay the Spire! Before we get started, I just wanted to ask you guys, does my little thing back there, oh, back, back there look really blue to you? Like, it looks really blue on the screen, but it's like not, I mean it's a little blue, it's like greenish though. It's very bright, that's what I'm trying to say. <sighs> well, I don't know. Um, let's minimize that. All the way back down there. Ooh, too far. And is everything looking okay here? We all good? Everybody good? Hello? Yeah, that's the stuff. I don't know what I'm saying. <clears throat> all right. So, we are playing Slay the Spire, and today we've got a couple of different mods. We still have the colored map. Uh, I've got the Mystic still loaded, but I'm not going to be playing her. Instead, I'm going to be playing the Servant today. I also have two mods, Cage the Spire and more monsters. They looked interesting, so... Eh. Uh, but before that, I've got a story for you guys. Story time. So, I'm sitting here getting ready for recording. Uh, I'm getting my camera set up. I'm getting what lighting I have set up. Go away, fly. Getting what, oh god, I'm blinded. Getting what lighting I have set up, getting, you know, my microphone set up, and blah, 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 blah. Anyways, uh, my cat jumps up on the back of my chair, which is pretty normal. He normally does that, but, but then he's just kind of staring at the blinds. And I'm like, what the fuck is he staring at? And I've got a couple of flies behind my blinds because it's, you know, still summer and it's hot in Oklahoma still. But, um... I notice a really loud buzzing, and I'm just like, oh, there's a really big fly here. What do you want? All right, come on. You deserve it. Get up here. Come on. Come on. Oh, this is my hero. Look at my hero. So, yeah. So, I look over. I just hear this really loud buzzing, and I and I see this shape flying around my window. And, and it's behind my blind, so I can't see what the fuck it is. I just assume that, you know, it's a fucking horse fly or something. And, and then I see some yellow stripes, and I'm like, do I have a bee? And no, it's a motherfucking wasp. So I go and I grab a shoe. Uh, I think I still have the shoe somewhere nearby. I don't know. I dropped them somewhere. I go and I grab a shoe, and I come over here, and I wait for the fucker to land on the inside of the blinds, and I smash the shit out of him. And I'm like, okay, he's dead. So after a minute of making sure that he's not flying around anymore. I go to look for him and, you know, peek through the blinds and everything. And he's sitting, like, on that little uh, ledge where the one uh, window, like, goes over the other. So when you push it up, it's like it goes up in front of the other uh, glass pane. Um, and I'm like, okay, so he's chilling here. That's fine. Um, you know, I, I assume that he's dead. Whatever. I should have known better. It's a fucking wasp. And I go, and I realize I can't reach the blind. Now, my blinds are currently broken right at this moment, so I can't open them correctly. So I twist them open, so where they're, like, open. They're not pulled open, but they're, like, twisted open. What the fuck are you doing? And um, I go, and I grab a pair of chopsticks. I, I've got a pair of chopsticks sitting here. Um, these actually right here, uh, these little metal ones. I'm not a big fan of the metal, so I don't use them like super often like just for like ramen and stuff um and i grab a bowl to put him in well i go to grab him with the chopsticks and he flips the fuck over and i'm like oh shit and he starts flapping his wings so i drop the chopsticks uh, after taking a picture of him you know while he's still uh like knocked unconscious i i drop my chopsticks in my phone like somewhere the fuck over there and I run to my bedroom screaming, yelling, nope, 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 nope. I run all the way to my fucking bedroom. Which, you know, isn't really that far, but, you know, it's a story. I gotta exaggerate a little. I run all the way to my fucking bedroom, yelling no. And after taking a breath, I come back and um, I grab myself the broom out of the kitchen and I put one of my boyfriend's shoes on my hand. I don't know why I thought this was a great idea. So I got my broom in the left hand. I've got uh, the fucking shoe on my right hand. And I turn around and I look at the windowsill and the motherfucker disappeared. He's just gone. I don't know where he went, but I, uh, I mean, obviously I know where he went. It's a story. I didn't know where the hell he went. 
So I I start freaking the hell out trying to figure out if he's flying around my house. So I'm running around the living room trying to figure out what the fuck's going on. And I notice my cat has jumped down on the floor and is playing with something and then like no shit. So I can go over there and he's crawling along the floor. So I freak out again. I run around my uh, living room a couple more times looking for a pair of shoes that squish him with. And after, you know, bonking myself in the head, you know, like a dumbass baseline, I realize I have a shoe on my hand. But on my hand. Right here. I have a shoe on my hand. So I take the shoe off my hand, put it on my foot, and I walk over here after moving my chair because it's probably the Peter desk, literally right here. And uh, the cat has decided he's not playing with it. He's bored, so he walks off. And the fucker's still trying to throw him all around the floor. And I squished the hell out of him. I, I squished the living hell out of him. So I, uh, after I did that, I took the bowl, I scooped him up, and I went out onto my balcony. I look on the second floor of uh, an apartment complex. And I threw his ass over the balcony. I threw his ass over the balcony. And I come in here, and I, and I drop his shoe, and I sit down, and I'm like, let's go. Alright, well, 
height and everything that you can feel. So the term is frill, the gender is uh, weak. Birds go going well. I can't actually see uh, the live birds going on my computer at all. So, like, I can uh, uh, process better. Alright, I'll leave. 
You get so much for watching. I will see you next. 